So in my last uh, Followed Me Home video, I showed you guys this axe. Um, it's one of the ones I'm most excited about uh, cleaning up because I think it, it's got a lot of potential. Uh, if you haven't watched that video yet, you can take a little closer look here and see. It's a uh, Kelly Works Wood Slasher. The pole's in really good condition. Um, doesn't really look like it's had too much damage on it at all. Um, and also, if you look, it's marked NYCRR, so New York Central Railroad, I believe, is what the uh, designation stands for. So that's kind of cool. It's a railroad axe. I've got a couple other ones um, that maybe I'll pull out at the end that I've just come across it actually at the same flea markets that have also been uh, railroad axes. Wasn't really intending to collect them, but kind of just you know, worked out that way. Um, but what I'd like to do in this video is uh, pull the handle. I will end up saving this handle, so I'm going to be trying to... I know it's kind of shot with it having the uh, palm swell cut off, but it is kind of cool that it's original and old. Um, nice to just have. Uh, probably never use it for anything, but kind of cool just to keep it for the sake of keeping it. Um, but what I'd like to do is pull the handle, save it if possible, um, and then just clean up this head a bit. And uh, yeah, figure bring you guys along for the ride. I'll get a weight on this head because I'm, I'm not sure exactly how much it weighs. I'm guessing about three and a half pounds, maybe four, um, but I'm guessing three, three and a half. So we'll take a look uh, once we get the, uh, the handle out and kind of get an accurate weight on it. So I've got it set up in the vise here. Um, Again, I've got leather on, uh, leather wrapped around the pole so it's not the jaws. I need to make, do need to make a set or buy a set of soft jaws at some point, but the leather will do fine in the meantime. Um, so I've got leather in there to prevent me from uh, damaging or marring the face of that axe, the pole of that axe. So we'll just kind of slowly work at it and try to get that, that wedge out. Um, Looks like there's no metal wedge in there. I think it's all just wood, so I might be able to get away with just drilling it and uh, pulling it easy. So in this kind of a scenario, I never like using good drill bits because um, you're never sure what's really buried in there or if it veers off and you somehow hit the metal of the, the you know the axe. I don't want to screw up a good drill bit. So I usually keep a little container of ones that have already been a little beat up. <laughs> so try to find one that's an appropriately, appropriately sized for trying to get a little screw in there. I really don't want this bit to wander. Let's do a center punch on there. I'm betting this will come out really easy because just with using that center punch, that wedge drove in even further. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to pull it out pretty easy. I know the fence pliers might seem a little unconventional for uh, pulling wedges, but I think they're just a super useful tool to have for these. I mean, these are some old crescent ones, um, but they just give you so many different gripping options. Um, no, I'm a fan. Again, another excuse to have more tools, so <laughs> not hard for me to justify. And I'm also using a uh, copper hammer to hammer on the uh, the uh, fencing pliers because this is like a hammer face, so I'm sure most of these surfaces are hardened, and I really don't want to ruin my fencing pliers. So use a you know a sacrificial hammer and save one of your tools. Nice, that was pretty painless.
Sweet, so I should be able to just drive this handle back out now. I don't have any like actual drifts. What I usually end up using is just a large bolt. You got a couple of them here. This one I've kind of rounded off the uh, the flats on the head. Just find one that fits inside the eye. And again, this is, you know, $1.50 at you know, a hardware store or something like that. It's fine to beat on it and not have to worry about it getting messed up. Um, I probably could make a, you know, make something, but no. This is quick and dirty. It works. Yeah, it worked well. Throw that handle right out. And if you look at the top of the handle, um, you know, little to no damage on that. So I think it was a successful uh, attempt at saving it. Whether this handle is actually worth saving or not, I don't know. But it gives me the option to have it for future, you know, future project or just, you know, just for keepsake. Because it is kind of cool that it is stamped. Um, NYCS. So I don't know if that's New York Civil Services or, or what. If you're familiar with the kind of the nomenclature of the, the stamping, you know, please let me know. Um, I'm always curious, but yeah, either way, the, uh, the old handle is now free of the, it's free of the head. Head's still in good condition, so I think what I'd like to do now is just set up with my usual, uh, my usual kind of like steel wool and Windex and just kind of go at it and clean some of this uh, surface grime off. So get your set up and we'll get after it. So I've got my usual setup. I've probably talked about this every other time. I can't remember if I actually left it in any of the videos before, but. I like using Windex, um, just some kind of glass cleaner to uh, just kind of lift the oil and grime and stuff off the head. Uh, you just use a couple brushes, you know, a little wire brush, a little nylon bristle brush, kind of like Brillo pad type stuff. That's supposed to be the uh, like the non-marring or non-scratching. So it's pretty pretty gentle, and then just some fine steel wool to all help kind of just kind of lift some of the grime off of it. I think this just isn't quite aggressive enough, so I'll uh, I'll clean this up, and then we'll uh, kind of take it over to the wire wheel, see how much uh, much more progress we can kind of make doing that. That really wasn't too bad. Um, a little bit more up at the top, but the bit itself was fairly uh, fairly smooth. But the bit on this side, the the little. Uh, scrub brush and the uh, steel wool just really wasn't cutting through some of that that rust and I'm not trying to get down to bare metal I'm just trying to like smooth out the surface and kind of even it out so um, we'll see how it goes but like I said I need a little good I'd like to get a little more aggressive with it and clean that bit up at the, at the very least um, try to keep some of this original paint and stuff which is pretty cool but definitely get after it on the uh, the bit so it's a little easier to sharpen too So that wire wheel cleaned it up uh, significantly better. Got a lot of that thicker stuff off. Um, but now I do just want to kind of go back over and kind of even it out. Clean up some of that rusty dust off it. Came out really good. That cleaned up really nicely. Very happy with that. 
Um, in cleaning it up, I also saw that there is that 3 2. So if you're able to see that, that you know, 3 2 stamp, so 3.5 pounds, at least that's what it it should be. I'm not sure what the actual weight will um, end up coming in at, but that's uh, that's what it's stamped as. And then as far as the stamp on the back side, NYCRR, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty good little. So three two. It's cool that it's still got the uh, the pull stamp. It looks like it was probably a few different colors over the years. I think the original color was probably that red. Um, Looks like it was maybe painted white at one point, or black. But I was able to keep a bunch of that original paint. There are a few spots where the paint did come off, kind of exposing the uh, the bare metal underneath, but it's pretty minimal. It kept pretty much most of the original patina. So I was very happy with that. It's a lot less uh, big flaky rust now. So, yeah, very happy with that. So I'll uh, go grab a scale. top-down shots of the profile this is this is why I couldn't pass up this head um, look at that nice high center line right through there nice taper to that bit just really beautiful geometry um, yeah so if you like axis chances are you probably already <laughs> already understand what I'm talking about but if not uh, a high center line means that the portion in the center of the bit here um, your center of the axis higher than at the edges. So, it, like, if you were to look at a cross section of here, it'll taper kind of, uh, kind of like an oval shape. So, yeah, very cool. Really good condition. So, excited for it. So, I will go grab the scale and see how much it's uh, actually weighing in at. But pretty cool that we found that uh, two three or three two stamp. So. And if you're not familiar with how the stamping works, it's usually the larger number is the pound in weights, and the second one is the number of quarter pounds. So three pounds and then two quarter pounds, so three and a half pounds. Cool. All right, I'll turn on my mouth. I'll go grab that scale and see how much it's weighing in at. So I've got the wife's kitchen scale here. Um, had to run in and steal it. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think she's watching this, so she probably won't notice. But uh, so I said, stamped three and a half, uh, three two, so three and a half pounds. We'll see how much it's actually weighing in at. Oh, turned off. So just over three and a half pounds, which is really cool. So spot on. You know, three pounds, eight ounces would be, you know, three and a half pounds. So a little over, which means, which is likely means it never really saw a lot of filing or heavy use, which is cool. It, which definitely, the, the bit definitely tells that same, you know, story. It looks really original. So that's cool. Happy to see, like, I don't, any, you know, no giant grinder marks or anything where someone would have really gotten after it with a power tool and screwed up the temper. So should be a really nice head. Oh, all right. Enough uh, run in my mouth. I don't really have any projects planned for this this head, but put it on the uh, put it on the rack. Put it on the rack against the with some of the others. Save it for uh, another day.